What's up, Internet? It's Kenny with Taco Cat here, and welcome back to Skyrim the Special Edition. Now, as it turns out, in the last episode, I did a massive dumb. I never picked this up from the Draugr Overlord when I was in the Bleak Falls Barrow. This is actually the Dragonstone. It's the thing that I was going to get sent back to get anyways when I talked to the Jarl of Whiterun. I just completely up and forgot about it, so off screen, I decided, you know what, fuck it. Rather than waste your guys' time, I'm just gonna come back and grab it. So I can make all these leathers. Got to I don't claim Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps to be. Fitting is that, that kind, kind of thing. thing. Nice. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Nice. So I go to the workbench then. The shop if you need it. I'm gonna make a steel shield. I mean, surely I wouldn't use the black. No, I would use the blacksmith's forge, of course, to make a leather helmet, which I don't even really need. I help my father in more ways than. Wait a minute. What do I need to do? Stop. Stop the presses. So quests. So craft a hide helmet, not a leather helmet, Kenny. What did she ask for? She asked for a hide helmet. Not a leather helmet. Just made a leather helmet out of your own fucking fruition. Yes? So here's your hide here's your hide helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Alright, so workbench. Let's temper this hide helmet. Hide helmet. Crap. Yes. Need something? Bring it to you. Out with you have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. I certainly Why hope don't so. You keep that dagger and helmet. Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Oh, well, we'll see Until what happens. I mean, Skyforge steel sounds important. I have no idea what that means yet, but it, it sounds important. But anyways, now we've done all that gappy crap, we're going to go ahead and head up to what we need to be doing in all the first place. To go and talk to the Jarl of White Run. Which he's gonna be, I guess, in this place called Dragon Keep. Nope, no trouble. No one has stolen my sweet roll, and no, I did not take an arrow to the knee because I am a great fucking adventurer. So into Dragon's Reach we go, and why can't I open the door? Because I was, you know. Come on. The door was ajar already as it was. How come I wasn't able just to open it? What the fuck is happening there? But anyways, here we go. We are in the Dragon's Reach. I don't have my weapons drawn because I don't need my weapons drawn. Nothing. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Uh, he's receiving uh, me, bitch. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Yes. So you were at Helgen. I was. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Very much so. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Well, I mean, you know, if I'm gonna but be here talking to you, I might as well be honest with you, buddy. Want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? Oh, you know, I was getting my head cut off, and, uh... Let's see here. So let's just say the truth. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this... Trying to execute Ulfric, and then the dragon did his thing. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm floor. Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. Yes. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountain... You're exactly right. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yes. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, you will. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me... Ain't nobody high and mighty. That would be best. Don't you forget... Well done. You sought me I am out well on your own done. initiative. 
you've done white run a service. And there's a Tyler. I forget it. Here, take this. Randomly walked in. Token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Uh, no, you're gonna go have to pay double yard. what everyone else what pays to have my talents You've jacked. Been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Rumors of dragons? Nah, bitch. These are actual dragons. Uh, before I do that, though, let me you find your partner in crime. Your your guy. Your this guy, because I, I got something for you, bro. I serve Yarl Balgra as steward. From Adrian? Yes. Ah. This must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. Yes, she is. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Oh, Thank his you. mood is fine. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Nice. Enjoy your visit to Dragon so that's a thing that I just happened. That's a thing that I just thumbsed up. And now to talk to this bitch down here. Firing guy. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. I I can help with the dragon project, and he's got an enchanter too. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Yes. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. You're researching dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Well, at least you're blunt about it. I gotta give you that, buddy. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? Yeah, I'm just here to work. I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakfall's Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Hmm. Go to Bleakfall's Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. So, uh, you mean ah, this stone? The dragon stone of Bleakfall's Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Arl foists on me. I'm pretty smart, brah. So, yeah, what's my reward? You'll have to see the Arl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. More than likely. Because, after all, y'all didn't, didn't even have to send me anywhere. I just did that shit on my own. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Of course he has. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know who can stop it. Oh, we can stop it. Let's go. Yes, up here. Apparently. And there's the arrow. Not now. Oh yes, now there's a dragon about so, to attack your town. You were left tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast, faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. <laughs> I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Here, Lev. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. Yes. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Of I course. Want you to go with Irelef and help her fight this dragon. Well, I thought that was already the you agreement. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Of course. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And I'm going to buy a house. Accept this gift from my personal armory. Your armory? I would very much like Iron to Shield of Resist Magic. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. So we need to, we need to be, we need to, yeah, out. dude, like, One last thing you're researching dragons. This isn't a death or glory mission. 
I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. You're an orc. My controller's getting disconnected. Hit OK. Back out of the menu. Let's, let's go with, uh... Well, we're gonna go with this, so we're gonna go with this down to here. Excuse me. That's the cherry coke talking. Can I open the goddamn door and go? You fuckers. Down here. Just do a jump. Jump down all the stairs. Jump down all the stairs. Jump. And hit a couple stairs. Go down here. Some harvest there. Keep going. Down there. Just a little guardsman. Just chilling there. You're a guardsman. You're just chilling there. I'm going back out to Skyrim. Because it's, cause it's dragon time. And I'm going to be dragging it down with me. So let's see here. That looks like an alchemy table by the looks of it. So, down there. Over here. Over Chonder. Through the pond. Up and over, through the foliage, looking at that incredible fucking draw distance, because it is actually quite incredible. That amount of draw distance is insane. Same with over there, that massive fucking mountain. Here. The no, Western Watchtower. It's still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Of course they did. Dragons grab people. The dragon's gonna do. Now where are you? There you are. Hi, fella. I think it's one of the specially named dragons. I think, I think the first one you come after is one of the specially named ones. If I remember correctly. And there's the main theme. So I think in this case, actually, at this point, because I really don't want to go down there, yes, I am going to be petty about it. I'm actually going to go to this. This is the fire breather one. Because fire breathers do shit tons of damage if I remember correctly. So it's be better off just doing it like this. Good looking. Chip away. Just chip away. Just be. Uh. The good thing is, I have a shit ton of arrows, so I mean. There you 
you are. There you are. There you are. He's almost down. Nice. Good job, team. Good job, fam. That's a dragon taken care of. So I'll equip this ancient node war axe. Get my bow here. Get my magic. Get my healing back. And this actually will work better for me anyway, because I'm left-handed. So I mean, there you go. We killed it. I can't believe it. Yeah, we did. Look at him. Look at him. Let's see, bones, scales, boots. Uh, that should be all I need. That should be good. That should be pretty good. He's burning. Oh. What? 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 Fucking epic. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. Yeah. What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That sounds like That's me. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Sounds about right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legend, only the dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. So can I actually equip that thing, that magic thing, so shouts unending force? Right. Yes. They I believe it's stories about the dragonborn. Boosh! Those born with the dragon blood in them. Yes. Like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well I just killed a fucking dragon. What's my reward, bitch? Back now for the first time in Forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. I hope so. What do you say, Irelef? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irelef. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. You know nothing. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. Yep. But I don't need we always able to kill them. Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand how to talk. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Yeah, but sounds about I right. I mean, I spent a little bit of time in Tamriel myself, so just in Skyrim. Legend. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are voice of the dragonborn. Yeah, sounds right. So now I gotta go back and take care of the stuff at the yard, but I'm gonna do that in the next episode because I'm already running pretty long here. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you like this video and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys got something positive and negative to say. And also, remember, keep being you because you are awesome. Take care, everybody.